Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for another episode of my EU4 survey campaign in Mew and Texas. I looked at the peace deal and what I had is what I'm going to take. Which is this one. I get five pieces of territory, some gold. Actually, you know what, I should probably do that instead of the additional bit of gold. Probably that one, because then I'll wipe them out. It'll remove tech. Teke, teke, whatever. They lose a vassal. Alright. And then just so my borders are a little bit better. Never mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna seize Gonin Honaz next, just so I can get a little bit better borders, I suppose. It's Naples who's my rival. Sure. I can't rival anybody else, so. Take the light ships away. This guy is in Egypt, so send them to the lower Danube. Then I think I'm going to kill Karaman. If I can, I can. Alright, so those guys immediately... Yep, let's just do that again then. So Hungary allied Kiev and Trieste, and I don't think they can ally oh, Poland now. So it works out well for me. I think I'll give this bit of territory to Silesia, just because I don't think I should take any more. Let's throw the siege guy on there. It's a level 3, so I need 6. I'm gonna change it back to support. Uh, yeah, supportive. And then they can go there. This siege, ah, this siege shouldn't take too long. Mamluks are no longer a valid rival. Make up your mind. This peace deal ends 
five years. And then I'll connect the territories. It looks like the Mamluks lost Hejaz, which is good for me. I wonder how... Yep, so by me taking this territory, I've basically killed this area for the Mamluks. They're not really getting anything from this area. There's only one province with below 90%, and that's Antep, which is increasing every month, 0.21, which is a lot. So that's going to go up to zero. So this entire area, which is probably two, three, four hundred pop, two, two to three hundred pop probably, is basically worthless for the Mamluks now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to placate Aiden. Influence them and then seize Honaz and Gonan. And I'm probably going to have to deal with a rebellion before I can core this stuff, which is fine. Bump those forts down. Apparently not. I could actually core a couple of those provinces. Fortunately, Turkish is an accepted culture, so none of these provinces... None of these provinces actually... got this unrest from that event, from that horrible event. Could add Albanian. I don't think so, though. Because the Albanian provinces, this should convert. There's only. Alright, that's actually more than I thought. That's what. That's six provinces right there. Are these. No. Alright, so it's just six provinces. This territory now has three rural pop, six urban pop, two upper class pop. Making 385. It's getting there. Let's see, Silesia, you can have this. Yep, you can take it. You can pay for that fort. Send them right there. Then I'm, I'm going to seize probably this area from Crimea as well. 
at least in these two provinces. Because this has a estuary. But then I'm also going to seize this. So probably just that entire area. It's a lot of decisions. Lithuania asked the Pope for a university, which happens if your ruler is dumb. Then you could get if you if your ruler is dumb, I don't know what the qualifications for that is, but if your ruler is dumb and you have no university, you can ask the Pope for a free university and that he'll give you one. You could do that as Poland, I believe. Because Poland does not start with a university. Let's see, I can't really... I can't really expand anywhere. Um... Wallachia is a potential target, but I feel... I think Hungary would get a little bit too mad at me if I tried to take this... these five provinces. I think I would attack Venice, but I think for now, actually, I'm going to attack Wallachia and see what the potential peace deal would be. If I can't take any territory, or a lot of territory, then I'll just take ducats. But they're not protected by anybody, so... I'm gonna get a third commander. Alright. Mihailo Bohovic? Probably not how you say it. 2645. What university is pumping out these great siege generals? Dang. This is excellence. I have no CB. Because they are orthodox. I do have a CB against Hellas, and I will forever. So, I'll attack Hellas and call in Wallachia. I don't really need any of those forts since I have peace deals with pretty much everybody over there. Alright, got those. I should be able to make... Nope, because there's tons of unrest over here. Where's the... There's the Sunni fanatics. Alright, so I'm going to have to deal with those guys. And then I should be able to core those provinces. See, this is a fort level one. That is a fort level two, or one, as well.
All right, this will be a really quick, easy war. There's no aggressive expansion reduction with this, is there? No. There is province war score cost, which is decent, unjustified demands. Alright. I don't think I think that's Empire that reduces it. I think it's over here actually somewhere. No, it's right there. It's an espionage. I am not grabbing espionage. Although it's actually not the worst. It's not as bad as it is in vanilla, but... Hmm. It's gonna have to pass. Why do I have four leaders? Where did this guy come from? Four, three, four, one? You suck. Get out of here. I'm gonna drill these guys just because why not? The revolts are a little bit away. Away? Way away? Wee oui, wee? Oui. We're French now? Liberate Faithful against Muscovy. Force heretics to repent. Muscovy, you still a Muslim? Nope, now you're Catholic. You don't want you don't know what you want to do. I'll move them over, but I'll wait for the tick. The monthly tick? And let's grab one of these five siege pip generals, bring them over there. Urban industry arises in Nisoy Aigwayu. Is that an island? Yep. That is definitely an island name. This is a minor center of production, this island. It's interesting. I choose whatever gives me silk, which is cloth. So I choose cloth. Drill them, no Wallachia. Almost. What am I doing on ships? I have to have a higher force limit. By nine. Alright, 
so. I have 20,000 troops right now, but I think I'm going to go up to 25 eventually, so I'm just going to preemptively build five transport ships. And then six. Six trade ships to bump up. I'm going to grab this last idea. Fill out state religion. And then since I'm making so much money... I'll hire this half-price advisor. Oh, damn it, I should have done the conquest CB. Well, you break your alliance. Alright, they give me 9 prestige, 87 gold, war ducats, or war reps. I'm just going to take ducats from them, leave them alone. Alright, so we got a little bit of drill now. Alright, I'm not sure where I'm going to attack next. Because I have a truce with the retina, truce with mamluks, truce with... Actually, I have no truce with the Ottomans. Yeah, I'm gonna attack them next, alright. But, that's gonna be in the next part. For now, I'm going to finish this part here and pick up in that part, and I want to thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.